I'm cutting my hair. So this is not your basic quarantine impulse haircut. Well, I guess it is kind of, but um, my hair has gotten pretty long for my liking. I really like my hair shorter and I haven't gotten it cut since January. It's May and I'm starting my internship in two weeks and I really wanted to get it cut before then. That can't happen. So we're gonna resort to cutting it myself. I've watched a few videos and by that I mean I watched the first 10 minutes of Brad Mondo's How to Cut Your Hair at Home and I feel well equipped now to tackle this endeavor. So I am going to ask my mom to come help me section off my hair into four sections and we're just going to cut it off. I think I'm going to do, my mom's like, well, so how much are you going to cut that off? And I was like, good question. I hadn't really thought that far. This is what it looks like now. I want it long enough so I can still put it up in like a high pony bun. So probably only like this much, like an inch or two maybe. Is that what that is? Probably like there, like kind of like the tank top strap line is where I aim to cut. So um, I'm just showered, so I'm leaving my hair wet. I just combed it with my wet brush. I think this is as ready as I'll be. It's like 11 o'clock at night. No, it's 10, it's early. Um, impulse, let's cut my hair. I don't really know where to put you, but I think this isn't terrible. Mine was that soap bottle. Okay, so what? Brad said to do was to part your hair in your normal part and then section into two sections and then break these sections into two more sections so you have four sections. So for this one, you're gonna find the top of your head, the apex of your head is what he said, and come down behind your ear. So I'm gonna ask my mom to come help me because I want this section in the back to be like a perfectly straight line and have her make sure that the sides are sectioned correctly. So let's get her up here. My mother's on her way up, but I thought I'd show you my equipment. Um, I don't know if like little kid scissors or like big scissors are better, so I have both. And then I literally found exactly four of the tiny elastics. So hopefully none of them break because those are so old. And then I have my wet brush, this thing, and then this. And hopefully that will achieve an at-home haircut. Oops. Okay, so I had my mom section in the back and then I just tied off this side of the scrunchie to keep it separated. And now we're gonna section off this side. Like I said, you go from the apex to right behind your ear and those are your two sections. Okay, now that is sectioned. Okay, so I put it in and can you see yeah it lays flat now we're gonna put it in this section also i don't know what this red mark is but okay now for this section okay so now i have four sections and it's time to cut i don't know what scissors do you think the big one The sharpest ones. All right, I'm gonna use the bigger ones. Okay. Perfect. Good. And then he kind of like feathered. I'm gonna do it over my sink. I'm not one to like freak out about a haircut. Like literally my biggest pet peeve is like girls that are like, oh my God, they took too much hair off. I'm like, you got a haircut, baby girl. What did you expect? And also your split ends needed it and your dead end, so it's okay. I want to get my haircut. I like to get a good chop. I'm always like, cause I only do it like twice a year. So I'm like, might as well get like four inches. Why the heck not, you know? So I've never really been scared of a haircut before. Um, I've been scared getting my hair dyed, won't lie to you there, 
Um, so like, yeah, I, I actually, a couple of surprises ago, I let my friend cut my hair. I was going to get a haircut anyway, like a couple of days later, but still. Um, I literally don't know what this red mark is. It just appeared literally right when I started vlogging and now it won't go away. But anyway, yeah, I've never been one to be scared of a haircut, so I'm like, not that worried because I don't really care that much. Um, like I said, I mean, we're, I'm in quarantine now. I start my internship in two weeks, but the first two weeks are online anyway before we actually go into work. So like, I have four weeks before I'll actually be interacting with people. So things will be fine. But anyway, let me keep wisping and then I'll show you guys the final result. Yep. Okay, I'm done trying to wispy. So I'm gonna take these out. And we'll see what it looks like. And if I need to fix anything, obviously I will. Oh, wait. Oh, this is so uneven. <laughs> I'm laughing. Wait, this side? Good. This side? It needs help. But we're going to fix it. Don't worry. Also, Brad Mondo said this would happen. He said the front was maybe a little longer. So I'm gonna take the little baby scissors. Oh my God, I looked down because I couldn't see if I had it or not. <sighs> so, this is what it looks like. I don't think it looks bad. I'm pleasantly, I mean, this like looks choppy and wispy, but I think that was what was supposed to happen. I don't really know. I think I'm gonna keep touching it up a little bit more and then I'll come back to you with like a final, final result. Okay, I think this is the final product. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna quickly show my mom and ask if she can take a video slash picture of the back of my head with it back so I can like actually see if it's like straight line and it's not all wonky um but I think it's good honestly probably for the next few days I'll find little pieces I don't like and like keep fixing it up but for now I'm really happy with this okay let's go show my parents and I'll get their reactions I cut my hair oh, fine. it looks fine yeah. it doesn't look good it's just fine looks good thank you mayor yeah. Hello. Yeah. You said perfect? Yeah. Okay, I nice. need you to take a picture of the back so I can see it. that clip my mom took of the back of my hair and I think it looks good um the video I was following again the Brad Mondo video I can like link it below if you're curious but he said um like the way he was doing it like with feathering the ends and stuff like wasn't gonna create like a blunt edge cut which is what I wanted I, probably if I was getting my hair cut I would get that but since I'm doing it myself like if I was having a hairdresser do it I would like ask for that I guess but since I'm doing it myself and my hair is so fine and straight like as you could guys could see like this is how my hair just dries after the shower um that's why my, I always ask my friends to cut my hair because like I said they don't really care um and they're all so scared like my friend cuts up her hair she's like I'm Meg like I don't want to like I'm scared like if I mess up on your hair it's gonna be so noticeable because it's just so straight so I figured if I feathered the ends um it would lower the margin of error noticeability at least how is that a word noticeability I don't think that is you wouldn't be able to see how badly I botched it if I kind of feathered the ends and made it like not blunt so that's what I was going for yeah. so this is the final product I'm really happy with it um but yeah I'm happy with it it's mostly dried now probably like I said in the next coming days I might you know keep going at it a little bit until I'm like super satisfied but considering I did this myself at like 10 o'clock on a Wednesday I would say it was a success overall my dad said and I quote looks fine my mom said perfect so average those two together I would say this is a a good or a great maybe we'll even we'll give it a great job yeah so 
thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and maybe it gave you some tips if you want to cut your hair. I know the video I watched, um, I keep talking about it. You can just go watch it yourselves. But anyway, he said it works best on like fine straight hair, which is exactly what I have. So I felt confident following that one. If you have naturally curly hair, might not be for you, but look up some other videos. You can probably figure it out. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think his tutorial was super helpful. So like I said, I'll link it down below if you want to watch that. But like I said, thank you guys for watching and stay safe, stay well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.